Good morning y'all and welcome back to Apron Strings. Today we're going to do a casserole. <clears throat> I cooked some chicken and I had too much for, I did chicken and rice for April and the kids and I had more chicken than I needed so I kept some of it and I'm going to put it into a cheesy chicken and rice casserole and I thought I would show y'all what I'm doing. I need four cups of liquid because I'm going to cook two cups of rice. I'm going to make my broth, my chicken stock out of some better than bouillon and four cups of um, water and I'm just going to put I'm going to put probably a couple of tablespoons because I want it to be real I want my rice flavorful and I'll just tell y'all when I cook rice I always use chicken broth or make my broth and I usually will put an envelope of uh, Lipton's onion soup mix in my rice just because it gives it a lot more flavor. And that's what it's all about. Flavor's what makes it taste good. And so I'm going to add some onion and garlic powder and my chicken bouillon here, my jute, my broth that I've made. Um, I'm going to get this rice cooked and then I'll bring y'all back and we'll use that cooked rice and put uh, the casserole together. I like to use jasmine rice and I usually buy the the 15 to 20 pound bag and divvy it up and keep it. So I've got my rice measured here and I've got my broth add a little bit of garlic powder About a teaspoon, three-fourths or to a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of onion powder. This is granulated garlic and granulated onion, y'all. I don't like the powder. It's like baby powder. I don't like it at all. Okay, so I'm going to get me some butter. You have to have butter. About three tablespoons of butter in there. And that will get all that goodness out of there. Now what I'm going to do, I haven't salted it, I'm sure you noticed, but I don't know how salty it is with that bouillon. So I am going to stir it around and then I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add some salt to it. And I think that's fine, just like it is. Okay, I'm just going to get the lid on this, get it plugged in, and it's going to take about 20 minutes for it to cook, and then I'll be ready to put my casserole together. While my uh, rice is cooking, I'm sweating some onions, green onion, and a little bit of garlic in here in the skillet. And I'm going to add, I'm using freeze-dried red bell peppers, so I'm going to add them and let them rehydrate. Okay, I've let my onions get translucent. And uh, I've added a tablespoon of flour, and I added two minced cloves of garlic. I let it cook a little bit with the garlic, then I'm adding the flour because I want it to uh, be a little bit thicker. And I'm going to add uh, chicken broth, a cup full of chicken broth, and I'm going to have a half cup of heavy whipping cream, and between a fourth and a half of a cup of white wine. So let me get this done and I'll bring y'all back in just a minute and we'll add the liquid. I'm going to add my chicken uh, broth first. And stir that around some. Now I'm going to add my heavy cream and I've added the wine to it. Let this cook a minute and then I'm going to add the chicken in here and let it absorb some of these flavors. It's beginning to thicken a little bit and cook down. I'm going to add my chicken. Now part of this is chicken I cooked in, with my maton where it's chicken under a brick is basically what it is. Dark seasoned and the other is just some chicken that I had when I made the big thing of chicken and rice the other day. 
So I'm using between three and four cups of chicken. I am going to put some black pepper. I'm going to stir in half a cup of sour cream. This has just got layer after layer of flavor in it, y'all. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to have some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of the Mexican Five Blend. Because I wanted some cheddar in it, too. So I can tell y'all about how much. I'm going to put a cup. Well, there's not a tablespoon left. So let's say a cup of Parmesan. I'm going to add in a four ounce can of diced chili peppers, green chilies. I'm going to let this just heat along a little bit and then I'm going to add the rice to it and I'll get it in the oven to bake and we'll have lunch before long. Okay, I'm going to add two cups, two heaping cups of rice that I just took out of the rice cooker. I'm going to add about a half of a teaspoon of Texas peat hot sauce. I thought I would show y'all my big beautiful loaf of sourdough bread that I made. I've already cut me a little piece of it. This is the recipe that I used when I made the sourdough video. But I wanted y'all to get to see my bread. I'm so proud of how it turned out. Now, I fed my starter and let it get bubbly twice as big as it was. And then I mixed my bread at about 10 o'clock at night, covered it, and left it till morning. And it had risen beautifully. So then I put it in the pan this morning, and it took it about an hour and a half. And I said, I better get that in the oven. It's going over the sides of the pan. And it's wonderful. All righty. I'm fixing to get my casserole in the pan. I don't know if y'all can even see what I'm doing or not. Love using just a spatula like this because you can get every bit of it out of that. This pan. I want all of that goodness in there. So I'll put my Swiss around on it. Sprinkle some of the Mexican five cheese. It's pretty much a staple in my refrigerator because I cook with lots of cheese. All right, I'm going to get this okay, in the oven. It's out of the oven, and it's just a bubbling. See, it bubbling is hot. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and then I'll plate some up, and I'll let y'all see how delicious it is. I thought I would mix us up a green salad to go with um, our casserole. So I'm just going to show y'all what I put in it. I've got some organic uh, baby spinach, but I always like to add a handful of coleslaw. That gives it a little bit of crunch. If you don't do that, you need to try it. Besides, it adds a little color. Now I've got green onions, tomatoes, yellow squash, iceberg lettuce, and boiled eggs that I'm going to toss in there, and then I'm going to add some of the Mexican five cheese. It's going to be a yummy salad. It makes it so pretty when you put the different colors in it. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top. Just going to toss it with a little bit of the five blue cheese. Okay, here's the plate with the casserole on it and the pretty salad. I'm fixing to put this on the table, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite of it for y'all. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. I know it's yummy because I'd have had a little bite over there getting it out of the. Mmm. 
that's good and you're not just getting rice because it's loaded with chicken so this is one y'all need to try and if you don't cook with wine that's fine just add a little extra chicken broth but the wine gives it a really unique flavor I'll be back in a few days with another good recipe and I'm not sure but it may be a delicious cake I haven't really decided yet y'all come back to the kitchen and see what we have going on because you're probably going to want it to go on in your kitchen the good Lord bless and keep y'all, and I'll see you in a little bit.